Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maureen and I make lifestyle content while living on Sanibel Island. So today, I don't know if you can see, but we're starting out this week in my life. It's a Monday, it's the day after the Super Bowl, which was really exciting to see. I'm glad the Chiefs won, but not necessarily for the reason you think. It's because one of the people that was playing for the Chiefs happens to be from the high school where I graduated from. So that was pretty cool. All right now, it is Monday morning and we had an early start. The dogs were pretty cooperative, which was good. They ate their breakfast. It did their thing. So now we're at the vet with Molly. So we're doing a follow-up appointment for her for a week follow-up for a double ear infection that she had. So hopefully it's all cleared now and then she's also getting an allergy shot. So we're gonna head into the office now. We got here with a little bit of time to spare, about 15 minutes. So good start to the morning. So I'll let you know how that goes and I'll check in with you guys soon. Okay guys, so we just got done. If you can see Molly in the background. So she had a little bit of yeast, but she's not like, it doesn't have an ear infection anymore. More. and then she had her allergy shot because she has allergies so we're just gonna keep on top of the cleaning of course so that it never doesn't get worse or anything but she is tired she had an early morning so we're gonna head on back home so hopefully the traffic is not too bad getting back onto the island so we'll check in with you guys a little later hello you guys so we are back at home I've been home for a few hours now Molly's looking like she's feeling pretty good and so I also got a few hours of work done but I wanted to catch up with you guys before the day got a little more hectic so so this afternoon, we're expecting some people here to finish up some of the punch out for my house. So that includes some of the interior doors. I have a lot of pocket doors and they weren't necessarily installed properly. So those need to get fixed and kind of re-situated. And then they also need to be buffed out the scratches in them because, because it wasn't installed properly. They got scratches when they go in and out. So that's gonna get fixed today, which is exciting. But it's, I also have a lot going on today. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, you guys, so unfortunately the handyman couldn't make it today, but that ends up working out because I really need to get some things at Trader Joe's off island. So we're heading off island right now so we can get some groceries and then the handyman's gonna come later this week. So everything worked out. I'll take you along for our adventure. All right, everybody, so I'm home after having some dinner, which was really good. And now it's still pretty early, but I'm gonna do a little bit more work and edit some videos and probably watch a little bit of This Is Us. But I will see you guys on Tuesday. Good morning, guys, and welcome back. It is now Tuesday morning. We had an early start. It's just a little after eight now. The dogs are taken care of. I'm just gonna grab a quick by a breakfast and then I'm gonna go on a walk because we have a few things going on today afterwards that gonna make it a busy day. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so got back from my walk. It's about a four mile walk, which is really nice. So now I've got some work to do and then I also have a handyman coming to get a few tasks done today. So of course I will keep you updated. Additionally, right now, you can probably see on the stove over there, we're making some boiled chicken and I make that for my dogs because they're spoiled. I'll check in with you guys later. Guys, a little while later, just had some lunch. I'm now outside with the dogs. The handyman should be here any minute. He was coming a little bit later than originally thought, which is okay. And then I have an early like dinner meeting tonight. So hopefully after that we can catch a sunset, but we'll just have to see. Now it's time to like cross some things with my lift and being pretty productive. And I'll check in with you guys later. All right, you guys. So the handyman is now gone. So I'm gonna actually take a quick shower and then I have a dinner meeting that's pretty early tonight. Maybe we'll catch a sunset, not sure yet. And I have a little bit more work and things to do. So I will catch up with you guys a little later. So I also received two packages within the last 24 hours. So one is for Sold de Janeiro and then another one is a Summer Fridays package. So if you're wanting to see an unboxing of that, make sure to check out my Instagram because that's where I'll be doing that this time around. So that will be up before this video is up. So make sure if you're not um, following me there, check out that link down below and so you can see that because that's my first time with any products from either of those brands. All right, you guys. So it's a little while later, put on some makeup. I'll fix my hair before I go. Got Work done at a good stopping point today because I'm getting ready for my dinner meeting soon. That'll be in like another half an hour or so. And I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, you guys, it is quite a bit later. Had a good dinner meeting, got some more work done, and now it is time to head off to bed. So I will see you Wednesday. We've got lots of things in store tomorrow. 
Love you guys and happy Wednesday. It is now Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. It is the morning now, so getting some work done. Also, I don't know if you hear it in the background, so if there's background noise, sorry, it might be my laundry. I'm gonna do several loads of that today because we have a busy day and tomorrow is actually gonna be even busier. So trying to get as much done as possible today. So I will take you along for as much as I can. We also go off island today for my class. So I'll show you all the places that we go and the errands that we run before going to class. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Hi you guys. So I am now off island as you can tell. I just went into Petco and picked up a few things. I might as well just show you those now. So they were out of the sticks that I normally get, but I did get these other longer bully sticks. So hopefully these will last a little longer. As you can tell, I have some chewers on my hands, one in particular. Creates a bit of an expense, but then I also got like a collagen stick. It's also a longer one than the ones that were in like the little two packers. I just hope those will last a little while longer. Then I got two of these. So I also have another six pack, but I just want to show you this one. We go through these quite frequently in my house just because once again, I have one that loves to chew and he can like skin these. Um, but this is definitely their favorite toy and so I don't do anything with stuffing with Murphy just because he will tear it apart and then try to eat it. So this is the safest bet. This and Frisbees because I have a dog that plays pretty hard. So I'm glad I picked up those things. And then I also picked up some more of their ear solution. I almost didn't recognize it because the packaging has changed a little bit since I last bought it, but it's just an ear rinse that you can use every day because earlier this week in this vlog, as you saw, Molly was getting over an ear infection. So just keep that yeast at bay and just keep those ears clean, making sure to stay up on this. And then I also have wipes that I use, but I think this is a little bit more effective. The only thing is with Molly, she doesn't love getting them in her ears and she'll try to shake like right after they're put in. So that can be a bit of a challenge, but it's just something we gotta do to make sure that's all at bay. So that's really the haul for today. On my errands, I don't really have any more errands to run. I may get some more gas. I'm gonna head over and get my like lunch dinner earlier because it is Valentine's Day and I don't have a reservation or anything. So I'll probably just sit in like the bar area, but I wanna get there early enough so that I actually have a space to eat and sit there. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I decided to bypass going to get gas. I don't really need to get gas. I still have three quarters of a tank. But now I'm at Cooper's Hawk. I'm gonna run in there and see if I can get a seat at the bar just because it's already super packed. So hopefully I can get in. So I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, you guys. So I got done with lunch in there. Um, I didn't film anything. There were a decent amount of people in there, but it was just, I usually film, but the couple next to me was like very, very nosy and like very in my face. It was a little off-putting. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in here or not, but so when I sat down, there were like several different seats open next to me and then people started filing in and then there was like one seat on one side and one seat on the other. So then the couple asked me to move that came and obviously I moved, like I had no problem with that. But this woman like when she asked it, she like wouldn't stop like touching me. It was like really in my face. I'm talking like hot breath on my face type thing like that close and it was like a little bit much for me. It was a little jarring and she like wouldn't stop, which I'm sure she thought she meant well, but like that's it's not how like everyone wants to be approached. And then she like wouldn't stop like staring at me after that, like acting like I was the problem. Like I moved seats for you and I didn't get my face like close and make eye contact with you because your face was so close to mine and you had like hot breath on me. It was just really jarring. And then it was just an odd situation. You could hear like her whole life story and stuff like that. She was telling it to everyone around her and like wasn't like super engaging with the, her husband other than when she was whispering and like talking about me, which was, I was like, I'm not bothering you. Like I moved over and afterwards, yes, I clearly gave off the vibe. I didn't want to be bothered because that was a little intense for me. I was just trying to eat my meal. And I, that's not an issue. I'm not like antisocial or anything. I will talk to anyone if I'm sitting at a bar by myself. It was just really intense and she was being very nosy and then like making comments like, oh, she must be lonely, whatever. She's in a mood. And it's like, that's not anything. I just don't want to be harassed by a woman that I don't know, <laughs> like, and asked personal questions. That's not why I'm sitting here. That's not why I was in there by myself. I do that every Wednesday. She's clearly not there every Wednesday. It was her first time there. Um, and of course the bar people like said hello and I think they could pick up on it. Like that was a little intense from that woman. And I was just kind of like, lady, just leave me alone. But yeah, that's not why I was in there alone. It's just cause it's the middle of like a work day. I'm getting something before going to another meeting and that meeting, I'm not doing Valentine's tonight. <laughs> if she watches my vlog, she would know that I went out and did my Valentine's things over this past weekend. So that was just a lot. 
and a little uncalled for. Now, I actually have about like two hours before my class. So I'm trying to figure out what to do because I kind of picked up everything that I needed errands wise. I didn't have as much today. So I don't know. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later as to what kind of pans out and what I decide to do. So I'll talk to you soon. All right, you guys. So I kind of backtracked a little bit, but that's okay. Cause like I said, I have a couple of hours now before my class. So I'm actually going to American Signature Furniture. I'm still looking for a couple of pieces for my house not a whole lot but i'm looking for like a chair to put in my guest room so that would be really nice to have and i'm really wanting it to be a black chair but we'll see if i find it i don't know i may or may not find it here something kind of funky as well it's kind of a fun little room i'll go check and see okay guys so i'm actually out where my class is going to be now still like an hour early which is fine i'll just like study a little bit but yeah i went and i saw the furniture american signature furniture and i did like a chair in there but now that i know like what it's called and the dimensions i'm gonna measure at home to make sure it's gonna fit that corner and that it's not too big but i did see one that I kind of liked and then I also went and gassed up and then I just decided to come on over here I didn't really have anything else to do so that's okay so now I'm just gonna study for a little bit until that class and I will check in with you guys later hello you guys and happy Thursday sorry I didn't check in with you guys again last night I was very tired after my class just took a shower and went to bed woke up early today because we have so much going on it's gonna be Grand Central Station at my house the dogs all taken care of and then I was putting away things from yesterday so putting away laundry that had been line dried putting away some different things that I picked up from Petco yesterday putting those all away it's kind of decluttering some things I do have a cleaning person coming for the first time so I just wanted to clean all the spaces does anyone else clean for their cleaning person comes just to like declutter items and make sure there's you know like no paperwork or anything out so got that done and at 10 so another hour the mobile groomer is coming for the dog so they're all ready to go for that and then I also have someone coming today with like the warranty on my front door to fix some scratch so that is how the day is gonna go. So I'll take you along for that, of course. Very busy day. We've gotten the decluttering done, which feels good this morning now. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast, maybe watch a little bit of This Is Us, and of course get right into all the things I need to do computer work wise as well. Okay, you guys, so the dogs are now done with their grooming, which is really good. That worked out timing wise because the front door person is gonna be here in a half an hour. So I'm gonna grab a little Trader Joe's salad out of my fridge that I have. It's always good to have those on really busy days like this. Gonna eat my lunch before he gets here. And then I have cleaners coming today, which is exciting. I've never had cleaners before. So I'm really excited about that, that I can just be working while they're doing that. Yeah, and I was able to work having a mobile groomer here I didn't have to take them off island lose like work hours so it's been a really good productive day and getting things done so I will check in with you guys a little later and then when I check in with you guys I will show you what the dogs look like uh, they look really cute after their groom but I didn't have time because I took them over to my mom's house so that they're out of the way because that front door is gonna be worked on so I don't want Murphy because he likes to dart unfortunately I don't want him going out there and I don't want them to be in the way of the cleaners either I'll check in with you guys a little later good morning you guys so sorry i haven't checked in with you guys in a while so the house got a little chaotic yesterday they fixed my iron door my front door area just had some nicks and things on it so they evened that out and it looks a million times better which i'm really happy about and then the cleaning people were here which was really exciting they did a really great job it's probably the cleanest it's ever been it looks so good i'm really content with them and it was very reasonably priced which i was very happy about that and it took them a little under four hours so that was good to Today, it is now Friday, so we also have another busy day. I'm waiting on handymen to fix some of my interior pocket doors. So they said they were coming this morning, so they could be here like any time. I'm not 100% sure. They didn't give me a time, which has kind of been the story of my life recently. And I'm getting my nails done today. And I also have someone coming to hang like some of the remaining paintings I have. And pretty much everything's like up in my house other than I'm missing one interior couch. So otherwise my house is pretty much finished, which is really exciting. Now I'm gonna get myself some breakfast. Murphy is eating his, that's why I keep looking over there to make sure he's enjoying it. It's a different flavor than we what we've had. So we use farmer's dog. So got him the pork recipe this time and he seems to be enjoying it. So that's good. I'm trying for Molly to get something to eat. She's been a little finicky the past few days with eating. So she might just be in a mood right now, but I'm gonna get myself some breakfast and Get a little work done because we have a lot to do today. 
I'll check in with you guys shortly. Okay, you guys, it's a little while later. The handyman came. The pocket doors that were going to be fixed, they really can't be fixed because they were too big of a door for the space. They're saying it should have been in like an inch and three eighths, but it was an inch and three quarters. So there was just no way to really fix that. What that means is I will get all new pocket doors. And of course that will be like back charged to that subcontractor. So I'm not like paying anything extra. That will be happening over the next few weeks as they reorder that and get that taken care of. Ultimately, I'm not disappointed. I'm not mad about it. I'm just happy that it's getting fixed because I wondered if that was the case. And the doors are already looking kind of beat up because they don't fit properly. And I was thinking, you know, 10 years from now, these doors are gonna look terrible because it's just not gonna get fixed. So I'm glad they're taking care of that and owning up to that and it's gonna get fixed. So I'm glad about that. But as you can see, I'm in my car now. So I'm actually heading into my nail appointment. So that starts in about 15 minutes, but I'm gonna get in there early. I'm going to more on island that's recently reopened. So that's exciting. There's more and more places reopening. So that's very encouraging. Kind of see the island come back to life. I know there's plenty of areas on the island that it's gonna be several years, but overall pretty impressed with how well things are going. So I'm gonna do that. And then after that, I'm gonna run home because I have someone coming to hang some paintings that I'm putting up. So it's gonna start feeling like a home in my house. So I'm really excited about that. All right, you guys, so I got my nails done. They're pink. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. I'm excited about those and have those done for different events next week. Now I'm gonna head home. The traffic isn't too bad yet. It might be because people aren't working, like construction people aren't working today because this weekend's gonna be like a holiday. I'm gonna head out before the traffic gets bad and we'll check in with you guys a little later. All right, you guys, so we are home. The handyman came and hung one of the photos. They need a special scaffolding because I'm putting it my entryway stairs case for the other ones on Tuesday but I'll show you the painting okay you guys so that one painting was hung and I told you I'd update you on what we would do this evening so right now we're heading off island we're in Fort Myers so we're gonna run a few errands and then we're gonna head over to Fort Myers Beach so I really haven't spent a whole lot of time there since Hurricane Ian I think Personally, they, I feel like they got affected even worse than Sanibel did. They lost a lot more buildings than we have. We're actually gonna go to Margaritaville because that recently opened within the last couple of months and kind of see what that's like and kind of support the small restaurants down there. So I will take you along for that and kind of show you how things are looking there since the hurricane. Okay, hey you guys, so we're now in Fort Myers Beach. So Fort Myers Beach is not the same as Fort Myers, if you're familiar or not familiar with Southwest Florida. Fort Myers Beach is located on Estero Island. So it's a town on Estero Island. Well, they got hit pretty hard with the storm, but it's four o'clock on a Friday and it's actually really packed and it's nice to see businesses open and people frequenting. And I think that is in part a lot due to the fact of Margaritaville being built up in this area. It's really good to see people. Now it's time to try and find find parking because that's always a challenge on Fort Myers Beach. So we actually found a spot really quickly in like the public parking area, it's really close to everything and it's really close to Margaritaville, right across the street from the beach and the little places that are open. So I'll kind of narrate the little downtown area, what's different, just kind of give an overcap because I know some people may not know what I'm talking about or know what exactly is missing. I'll check in with you guys once we get the parking situation figured out and paying by phone and everything. Okay, you guys, so now we're in Fort Myers Beach in their like town center. It's had like a little montage of clips. So they're missing all of the buildings essentially near the pier and I'll show you what that looks like. They put in a new walk and there's a few businesses around so I'll kind of show you what that looks like. But yes, it looks really different. I'll turn that around so you can see. So there is the tower. The pier is gone, but they're working on a plan to get that rebuilt with the county, I believe. And then there used to be a bunch of businesses across this area, all of this that is now beach area. Those were all businesses that used to be there. And then across the street, a few of the buildings, but not many. And there's a lot of like trucks for food and things like that. So that is what things look like currently. I got 
while on Fort Myers Beach. So Island Girl Fort Myers Beach is now located and they have a little shop inside of Margaritaville Resort. So let's show you guys those items. I got two items there that kind of correspond with one another. First one I got was a towel and it says Island Girl on it, Fort Myers Beach. Right now it's kind of showing up as blue, but it's kind of a purpley blue color. The next item that I got was a purple v-neck long sleeve tee and it's like a sweat wicking material. And it's in my size, which says Island Girl. And since I live on Sandoval and I am an Island Girl, it seemed very appropriate. So I'm loving this and I'm loving the material. The next item that I got and the last item in this haul is from another touristy shop on Fort Myers Beach and it's called Shipwreck. And so I picked up a hoodie and fun fact, this is the only hoodie now that I own. I lost my other hoodies in Hurricane Ian. So it is pretty royal blue and it reminds me of my alma mater from my high school. This is the charger blue that we used to have. And it says Fort Myers Beach, Florida. And it says when the everything was established and it actually has like a little Jeep on it. And then you can see in the back of the Jeep is a large dog. And you might see Murphy in the background too of this video. And it reminded me of my dog Murphy because he is a larger dog. Anything that has a dog on it, merchandise wise, I'm definitely a sucker for. Thought I would show you these items. And I'm just happy that I'm able to support the businesses on Fort Myers Beach that have survived since Hurricane Ian. Okay, you guys, we just had dinner at Margaritaville, which was really good. Um, I don't know if you could hear in the other clips that I showed you guys, but there is a tower that was recently built in Fort Myers Beach since Hurricane Ian. And it was painted by a friend of mine named Lacey McClary, who is a local artist. So that's really cool. And that's what I was trying to point out. I'm not sure if that really showed up well but we had dinner we went to like the downtown Fort Myers Beach area there's not a whole lot of places open but they do have a few places it was very busy because of the people from Margaritaville and staying there so I bought a few different merchandise items that I'll show you later uh, I just want to support the local area and I lost everything that I had pre Hurricane Ian from Fort Myers Beach so I'm really excited about those items and supporting local so it's good to see that things are very lively here and I'm encouraged by how things are looking post Hurricane Ian, but you'll also see from a couple of the montage videos of the amount of buildings that have been destroyed and haven't been worked on since Hurricane Ian. But it was a great weekend, so I'm gonna end off this video here. Please make sure to like this video, comment down below what was your favorite part of the week, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my content. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.